so we are on our way to Lady Grey but there was a nice gravel road I would have liked to have taken all the way from Dordrecht through to Lady Grey it's about a hundred kilometers but we were told we should rather not take it to the rain that they've had recently and things like that it's not in a very good condition so we've taken quite a long route around it's about 180 kilometers to get to Lady Grey but um, we're not too far from Lady Grey now so no and we're on the Malotti route yeah that's nice so let's go and explore Lady Grey I look forward to it it's a first for me Interesting, eh? That's erosion for you. Good heavens. It's on a pedestal. Yes. Look at all these interesting patterns oh. that the erosion has caused. Hey? Wild, eh? Wow. It's almost as if that rock has been place today yes. on a pedestal. <laughs> Very interesting formations here, hey? Yeah. Oh, you mean not a holiday resort right on the track? 
train tracks. No. <laughs> we might come. Yeah. Other folks might not. Yes. We've been following the train tracks along the road. Yeah. of them are blank. This is where they fill the trains? Yes, even. With water? Yeah. The gas the tracks all covered in sand. Gravel. Where are the tracks? Yeah, we just drove over them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was there. looking at that. see the tracks? Oh, yes. <gasps> totally overgrown. Look, yeah. There's just one piece of the track sticking out. There's nothing on these name boards. I see. It says Lady Grey on the good shed. Yes. The sun yep. faded them. Oh, well, that was definitely a platform. Oh, yeah, you can see the tracks. Mm. This must have been the station master's home. <laughs> Most probably. Yeah. Quite interesting. Can we drive up there? Just to peep in that good shape. things I saw those one. are vents on the roof that were on the roof. Oh, okay, so, so the they roof fell sheets, through. The roof yeah. sheets have been removed so they just threw them down. Yes. Okay. Just the big doors are left. Another station casualty. That's for sure. How it got here, yeah. heaven that, only knows. That's to let the heat out of the building, you see. I don't know, there's an archway, this was a stone building, it was painted. I'm not sure, so sure that it wasn't a recreational building. But we shall never know. But we won't. This. That must have been the old road into Lady Grey. Hey? Not sure why they broke it down. It looks like, oh, it's just washed, washed out, I think. You think? Yeah, I think it's the old low water bridge. Gorgeous stonework, yeah, hey? Beautiful. With the little waterfalls pouring out. Yeah. Oh, definitely the old road. Yes. It's lined with trees. Yes, and big trees, eh? Yeah. Well, the town dates back to 1857. Sure. So it's not a young town. No, it ain't. Look at this little area. Yeah. Picnic area. Clinic. Yep. The rock 
looks painted. towering over the village. Yeah. Mountains. Yeah. Look at all the solar panels. Yep. That's interesting. Many, hey? Yeah. There's a lot of solar panels there. Yes. They don't want to be bothered with load shedding. There's no wonder they call it a rural village because that it is, hey? Yeah, look at that wagon. Yeah. It still looks complete. Yeah. This looks more like the smaller holdings, eh? Out here. Yes. Yes, those folks have cattle. Yeah. for one or two old ones. Yes, I want to go and see what I can find here.
can't make out what's going on there. Look at this. Tilting over. The detail is incredible. In loving memory of Benjamin Vickers. Born 1828, died 1913. Wow. Collapsing, these graves are all collapsing. Yeah, they've redone that. If you can read it, it says Martha H. E. Marie, and born Hutting, maybe. Born on the 28th of the 7th, 1881, and passed away the 28th of the 11th, 1936. Yeah. And this one. Esther Magdalena Wilhelmina Vickers, born Fisser, born on the 10th of July, 1837, died on the 15th of November, 1882. Born on the 4th of August 1909 and passed away on the 26th of January 1932. Wow. I must say some of the gravestones do seem to be tipping over, but the, the graveyard in itself seems to be in good shape. The grass is cut. Yeah, I'm Bushes very impressed. Trimmed. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, a municipality can't take ownership of the gravestones. Especially those old ones that are yeah. tipping over like that. But the, the grounds? Oh. Very neat. That's great to see. Yes. It's a peaceful place. It I hear is. birds chirping. Yeah, roosters crowing. <laughs> got a glimpse of that building and yes. then you told me to look the other way. <laughs> oh wow. Well, from here on the camera you can hardly see it I'm sure but as we get closer it'll loom. Yeah. This was an old crawl I can tell you that now. Or just a boundary fence, boundary wall but built in a crawl style. I suppose I'm going to go with crawl, eh? Okay. We were in, this was on a farm back in the day. But you are right. Wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me that's the original farmhouse. point in time that Lady Grey was established on the farm Vyhook. Okay. Purchased by the Dutch Reformed Church of Ellawil North on 30 April 1857 for the purpose of founding a new congregation. It was named in honor of Eliza Lucy Grey, maiden name Spencer daughter of Sir Richard Spencer and wife of Sir George Grey, the Cape Governor. The first municipality of Lady Grey was proclaimed in 1893. Oh, cool. fantastic. So it's another old town. 
all started around a church. That must have been an attractive house. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's derelict now. Yeah. They have quite big municipal offices. Yeah, but aren't they in the, the district offices here? For the whole district? I don't know. Oh, the gates are wide open for us. Yes, just to drive in. Love the entrance. Yes, I do as well. Wagon as well. Oh, yeah, nineteen thirty. Look at this. And the stone was laid on twenty seventh April, nineteen twelve. Wow. You haven't been able to drive around a church with me like this before. <laughs> Maybe a, a long time ago, I remember. Yeah. But not this close. No. Wow. Look at the bell tower. Yes. Mm, look at the stonework. Those guys knew what they were doing. I'm sorry. For sure. It looks like a machine did it. So neat it is. Yeah. And the detail with the white, eh? And in contrast. Yes. Love that. At these alcoves. Oh, it's very neat. I just love this stone. Two cornerstones, the building commission, and there are the dates. Yes. I must say it's really pretty. I love the beautiful cornerstones. Literally cornerstones. Yes. So gorgeous. Yeah. And in good shape. Yep. Yes, okay, that was a surprise. <laughs> Yeah, I love this. Even the bathrooms are in stone. Yes. It's a very impressive building. No, it is. Yep. Let's turn. Left into Church Street. Yep. Church Street uh, ends in the church and both ways. Yep. Well, seeing that the Dutch Reformed Church started this town, it's just appropriate that all roads lead to the church. Yep. <laughs> Chill vibe in town. Very much so. Away from the little bit that we came in on. Yeah. The town centre. Look at those mountains. Yeah.
It's quite warm. It is, eh? Although it's cloudy. the same year as the church. As the church, that's amazing. That's incredible. Eh? Mountain View Boutique Hotel and Lady Eliza's Restaurant. Lady Grey herself. the old wagon. Hello. Look at this. Even a little teddy bear.
think this is so nice. Big teddy bear. So this is like a little suite on its own. Got your own door here, you've got two bedrooms, little kitchenette, and your bathroom over there. That's really cool. This is the bar. Okay, that's closed there. So a little bit of interesting information about the Mountain View Boutique Hotel. That this other than the view? Other than the view, the Mountain View. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that the first part of the hotel, the single level, okay. was built in the 1870s. Wow. Uh, and this came later in the 1900s. Um, it was first a single level and then it was made into a, a double story. But she doesn't know if they broke down the first part and then made it a double story or just built on top. But I would think they would have broke down and rebuilt. And 
do you know if it's always been a hotel? Always been a hotel, yes. Wonderful story. Yeah. I get the old style yes, fantastic. feeling. Yeah. That's the Lady Grey Arts Academy. Yes, El Tech House. I must go in there. I think you need to check it out. Yes. There are people there. Yes. So this is the visual arts of the academy. And this is the design teacher. <laughs> and what's amazing, these are all her students who have become designers. So this is the drama class and tonight they are having the annual show. So it's all the dance, drama, uh, music, everybody's being involved tonight. That's fantastic. And the dance and the music is at the school itself and at the hostel. The Lady Grey Arts Academy. How amazing is that? 500 students. 500, the whole school. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we yeah. need to go check out that uh, old school building. Yeah, we will. We mustn't forget. No, we won't. And I found it interesting that the film, the 2017 film, Five Fingers for Marseille, yes. was shot in uh, Lady Grey. Yes, apparently, and uh, a lot of the students were involved, involved in that. Yes. Oh, fantastic. So we're complaining about how hot it is, me and her, Sakile. Yes. So she says, but it gets freezing in, in winter. She says like three feet of snow. Right. Oh. And um, the students are involved in, in a passion play annually during Easter. Okay. And then also visitors from out of town come for that. And then if you're lucky, then the snow has melted. But otherwise there, are, there is still snow at that time, but it's still cold. Wow. Which I suppose adds to the whole atmosphere. Definitely. Yes. That was a nice stop. I'm glad they're still going. Yes. Now this is the school. Now this is the Arts Academy School as well, eh? Lady Grey Arts Academy and it is the Arts Academy Oh, 
has this pretty courtyard. Yeah. What a beautiful experience this was for me. Oh, it's, it makes one believe again in the power of the youth and the future. Yes. Two things happened while I was sitting waiting for you. Yes. One high school girl came yeah. to alone to the side of the old tennis court yes, yes. and practiced her singing. Oh, really? So gorgeous. Really? Oh, Oh, I had chills. Fantastic. And then man. four primary school girls came to practice their goal shots, their netball goal oh, shots. Oh, okay, how cute, eh? I like, you know, with, a, with a whistle, the yeah. whole two. Serious <laughs> business. This was such a special experience. Now, they were singing over there, and I couldn't, 1926. I thought you had forgotten this one. I did. I didn't see this one. But in nine, the, um, they were singing, they are practicing for their... It's not a concert, it's like a show they're putting on tonight because these these kids are just shy of being pro, let me tell you. I see heavy lute talks yeah, and they're everything. they singing, the singing. The one group that was singing that song, Hallelujah. I, unfortunately, I've got it, but I can't play it because on YouTube. But they sound incredible. Really, it's fantastic. No, this was a fantastic stop. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's how one gets out, yeah? <laughs> it just didn't close all the time, yeah, all the way. All the way, yeah. Okay, we saw another little 
religious building which we missed earlier. Yes, let's go back there, but I think we must go down that way. We only saw the roof from this side, so yes. yes. That was super cool. No, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. And the teachers, you can see the teachers are also artistic. Party, yeah, yes. They are so enthusiastic, eh? full of life. The principal, they just want to get going. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's fantastic. Like, who knew we would find something like this in Lady Grey? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's up here? Yes, I do. Oh, yes. I loved it. Yeah. And you can see she takes her singing so seriously. Oh, really? And how does she sing? Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, more uh, operatic, it oh, sounds okay. to me. Oh, look at this. This is special. And what is this? Church. <gasps> church of Ascension. It's oh, there's locked. a chain and a lock. Major lock, yeah. Is there a cornerstone for the king? But I've noticed Yes, 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 yes. I have to hop out. Let me just pull over properly. I just want to leave the car in the middle of the road and get out. <laughs> <laughs> that cornerstone is my vibe, eh? Cement on cement. It's only cement colour. Yeah, beautiful. I Look at this. I haven't even looked at the cornerstone yet, but yes, 1906. I also thought this was the street number. But to 2006, that's 100 years. So look at that. I cannot read that, but I know it's the 7th of April, 1906. How's me checking 1906 is a street number? I also thought that, but then I, when I got out and I stood, looked at the two numbers, I realized it's the 100 years. What a cute church. Yeah. So it is 117 years old. And the Dutch Reformed is 110 years old. So this one's older than came that? came before, yes. Wow. It came seven years before. That's incredible, eh? The lady at the Arts Academy said there's a lot of, lot of events here during the course of the year, eh? Yeah. Like triathlons and motorbike rallies. Motor mountain biking. Yes. And I believe they do trout fishing in the area too. Oh, that's yes. cool. Fly fishing. Oh, is it fly fishing? Yeah, they fish, they get trout, but they do fly fishing. Trout and yellow fish? Yes. Museum. Look at the little museum. Hey? What? This looks like a um, magazine chamber. It does. It looks like a gunpowder magazine. And there's a... a, a, a little obelisk and the gate is open the door is closed oh, so this was donated to the church on 24 January 1925 bears pause Let's look at this opened on the 17th of December 1914 Elizabeth Ross born at Fort Down Scotland May the 4th 1865 died at Lady Grey September 25 1878 Wow Thomas Charles Ross, born the 1st of February 1881, drowned 27th December 1905. William Francis Ross, born the 5th of June 1870, died 24 April 1890, 20 years old. Agnes, born Kinmont Dungan. Reverend D. Ross, born at McGinch, Scotland, 3rd January 1843, died at Lady Grey, 10th July 1890. Wow. 
Alexander Duncan Ross, born November the 2nd, 1866, died June 2nd, 1876. Yeah. Definitely a gunpowder magazine. Incredible. Love this. And it's in such good nick. Check this door. Solid steel door. Yeah. So it's definitely the gunpowder magazine. So I see there is a number of a gentleman you can contact. Yes. But we're out of time, yeah, I think. Unfortunately. We have to head out. Yeah. What I found very interesting is the powder magazine. I love it. And then this cornerstone, shall I call it, of your bash Pass. Yes. Which is possibly, according to information I found online, the fourth highest mountain pass in South Africa. Wow. And it crosses the Wittenberg. <laughs> we won't be doing that today. Yeah, something for another time. Very cool, the little museum. Yeah, I wish I could go inside, but the watch, the clock is not on our side. We found so many other interesting things as well in this place. Oh, we missed the museum earlier, yeah. week, but we didn't drive past it. No, we didn't. I noticed there are quite a few restaurants and coffee shops. I think it's because it's, I think it's a busy little, look, look, look. Oh. Spirit Valley Ministries. 1906 as well. The stone was laid by M.J. Letcher, June the 4th, 1906. They used the, the red brick back yes. then, you see? Yes, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I read something interesting about um, a notable person who's from this area. Okay. Some folks may know it. What is this? I think it's the uh, police station, is it? Magistrate's, Magistrate's Court. Court yeah. oh. Disabled access funded by the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. Wow. This is a pretty street. There's yeah. lots going on here. Definitely. There, I wonder if there's some event. You know what I saw? Um, two um, rows of policemen posing for pictures and then okay. I saw quite a few police vehicles full of policemen oh, okay. or police officers shall I say so I wonder if there must be something on the go then this is the uh, municipality yes okay um, so Olvain Schlierbusch not sure if you're familiar with the name no, the surname yeah he was the only holder of the title Vice State President of South Africa. Okay. He was born in Lady Grey in 1917 and he held that office from the 1st of January 1981 to the 14th of September 1984. I thought that was quite That's interesting. That's interesting. I, didn't, I don't remember his name at all. Lady Grey Country Club. Here we go. With a kingfisher. Yay.
doesn't look like anyone is playing golf today. No, it's all locked up. But I wonder if this is the caravan park here with all these plug points. Well, that would make sense, eh? Yes. Is that what the lady at the hotel made you understand? Yes, that it's right here by the golf club. So the gentleman also speaks about the sky run. Yes, he says that the caravan park is used mostly when there's the sky run or yes, something like that. Yes. So they don't get holiday makers here as such. But he says they... Um, They're doing better than other little towns. He says the um, <laughs> municipality is still operational. Yeah, that's good to hear. It is. Skyrun, when I see Skyrun is an extreme mountain running challenge, then I just shut down. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back at this derelict building next to the station, and I said we will never know what it was, but I think we may have just found out. Yes, the lady I spoke to at the Mountain View Boutique Hotel said that she also wanted to know, she had a picture of the of the old mill of Lady Grey and someone told her that this was the old mill but uh, when it still had a roof on she came and she stood with a picture and she recognized certain things and she says this w was definitely the old Lady Grey mill. That's very interesting. Yeah but she's been here for a long time and it hasn't been functioning since then already so. Okay. Yeah. It's good to know what it was. Yes, yes. I'm glad it, you asked her. Do you think it was an operational business get, employing people and look at this now. It's sad. I know what you are going to be excited about in Lady Grey. Oh yes. I mean like the one lady says they the anchor of the town. Um, <laughs> the Arts Academy was a special visit for me. For sure, for sure. That school is brilliant. But I must say that I loved walking through the hotel. Yes, and I love all three churches we saw. There may be more, but I love the churches and the fact that they're so old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it was a very good visit. We saw interesting things, which I never expected. In Lady Grey. And of course, surrounded by the Witteberg Mountains beautiful yeah